door, Scott. inside the hall Curtis what's the the biggest difference for you now um, in your game going in to your sophomore season compared to where you were a year ago um, the biggest thing by far is strength uh, got a lot stronger uh, this past summer so that's probably the biggest thing hey Al uh, what have you been telling folks back home in Georgia about Bloomington and Indiana so far um, I've been telling them that uh, how I love Bloomington and how it's so much different than Atlanta, but how much they love basketball more here than they do in Atlanta. Jeff Brad John speaks up now. Al, this is for you. What are two or three things you feel like you are definitely better at now after a summer and part of the fall on campus than you, you were when you first arrived? Um, I feel like I'm better at controlling my pace, you know, when to go fast, when to slow down and probably being more consistent with my whole game overall. Uh, Bob, the three freshmen obviously getting up to speed with the, the physicality of the game. Can you talk about maybe each guy and kind of what you've seen uh, from them uh, since the time they got here and how, maybe how they've progressed uh, since they arrived? Yeah. Um, well, one of the things I noticed with, with Al right away was he picked up things like really quick. So I think from a standpoint of understanding the game and things like that, he's already far along. <clears throat> Um, with Justin, um, one of the most impressive things with him is just in his athleticism. Um, you can tell, you know, he's a really high-level athlete that's going to be able to help us just, you know, based off that. And Cliffy, he, he has a, a high upside. You know, he's long, um, a lot of energy, can rebound the ball, stretch the floor a little bit. So um, that's just a couple things about, you know, each one. Hey, Curtis, Andy Graham from IU Athletics. Uh, I know Coach Miller talked to you about uh, your physique and, and wanting you to, to add some strength and muscle, but I was wondering if you talked about a role in regard to James Blackman had departed, uh, you're a shooter. Has, has he talked to you about that, about trying to uh, fill that role a little bit as providing that kind of outside shooting? Um, uh, we, he talked to me um, uh, before the summer end. It was about uh, just working on my game, getting stronger. Uh, being a consistent shooter, being able to uh, score and things like that. So, yes. Uh, Al, I know your uh, dad coached you in uh, AAU, and I know he pushed, he pushed you hard. Uh, how much easier do you feel that uh, that's made the transition to the next level so far? Um, it made the transition very, very swell for me because my dad was like my hardest critic. So I feel like 
if you can go from your father calling you every name in the book, I feel like it'll be much easier going into a college process. Hey, Curtis. Mike Kelly with the Bloomington Herald Times. Uh, I think Coach Miller mentioned this spring. You were one of like a handful of guys who just to stay in Bloomington after the spring semester and get some work in. What made you want to stay? I mean, what made you want to stay in town and then work here? And what did you got out of it? Um, I really just wanted to get the most out of the summer. Um, I wanted to come in and have a good impact this year on the team and help the team as much as I could. So I feel like staying, getting to know the coaches better, working out with some of my teammates, it was a good decision for me. Rob, you talked about these two guys a little bit, but what have you seen maybe a change in Curtis from the guy you saw a year ago at this time as a freshman? What's different about him? Maybe what's improved? Um, I think the biggest thing with him has been confidence overall. I can just tell, you know, he has that that bouncing the step back, you know, the, the feeling of, you know, he has a big opportunity to really help us with everything we lost um, last year. So um, I would say confidence. Go ahead, Trish. This is for Robert. Um, I guess just, I know you probably get asked this question all the time, but as a senior on this team with a lot of change right now, how do you kind of step up as a senior to help them set some expectations, some, some realistic expectations? Um, I think that all goes back to just taking it one day at a time. I think um, the best way to go about that is to just make every, everyone realize that you don't get to your end goal, you know, in September or November. You have to, you know, work every day as far as practice, weightlifting, conditioning. You just try to um, get the most out of everything, and that's how you get to that point. Robert, Mike Merritt from Associated Press. Talk a little bit about what the difference is that you've seen out of Coach Miller from what, what Coach Green was like. Um, I don't really think, you know, it's, we've get, really gotten into this, the strategy of, you know, coaching philosophies and things like that, but um, I think, you know, the energy he has when he comes around us, um, the, the fact that he played the game, you know, makes it easier to, a little bit easier to relate to him, or that's just, a, you know, a couple of things that I've noticed, you know. For Rob, the, uh, defensively, what what, um, what have you noticed in terms of the intensity? How, how is this defense maybe different than, than in the past? Um, I think as far as defensively, I think um, we're going to have a philosophy that, you know, we build and we stick to um, no matter what. And I think that's going to be a big part of our identity. And that's, you know, one thing that Coach Miller has made clear. Jeff Redman speaks right now. Robert, this is for you. Deron Davis has obviously really sort of changed his physique. What have you seen from him in workouts that's impressed you the most? Um, I think day to day he just comes with, you know, a different level of energy than he did in the past. And I think, you know, with his conditioning, um, staying over the summer and, and cutting 20 pounds, um, I think that all, you know, has had an effect on how he's looked from day to day. Skill-wise, what's different? I mean, what are some things you've seen that you're like, maybe, you know, Whoa, okay, I didn't see that last year? Yeah, I think he automatically, um, you'll be able to tell he looks quicker, faster. Um, he gets off the ground uh, faster than he did. Um, I think he's developed more of a, a consistent consistent outside touch uh, from the, you know, 15-foot area. So those are a couple things. Well, Mike Capello, CNHI. Um, with the new coach coming in, does this put a greater emphasis on these next preseason practices leading up to your first game? Oh uh, yeah, I definitely think so um, because you know we get time in the in the summer and the preseason to to work on you know basketball things, but not as much as you do with practice every day. So um, I definitely think guys are excited um, to get in the gym every day and, and basically build. Josh Margolis inside the hall. Josh, wait. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Got away from Josh Margolis. Josh Margolis inside the hall. It's quiet. Um, working with Cliff Marshall, what's that like? And um, how do you think it's helped you guys improve your bodies? Go ahead, Curtis. Um, it's helped me a lot. Um, working with Coach Cliff, he, uh, 
he helps me with my diet and um, not just making a way of life, uh, trying to just, as I continue to play out throughout my career, uh, have a good diet and, and track my calories and things as I try to gain weight. And then in the, in the weight room, just coming to attack every day, and things like that. Go ahead, Al. Um, he, just to touch on what Kurt said, he's always helping me with my diet, making sure I get enough calories, making sure, I, making sure I'm making my gains. And he also always brings a positive energy to the weight room, so it's always a good time in there, and we always ready to work. Bro. Oh yeah, um, yeah, I think um, he definitely helps, you know, as far as the diet, he has a lot of insight, insight on how you should go about maintaining weight, gaining weight, losing weight. Um, he's big on, you know, prehab as far as getting ready for workouts and things like that, making sure you stretch, um, get, get warmed up, things like that, different activities that we do. Um, so I think, you know, he's, he's going to be really good for us. Last question. Uh, Seth Tao inside me, uh, uh, Rob, this one year left for you. Uh, I guess when it's all said and done, what do you want your higher legacy to look like? Um, I just, I just want people to remember me as a guy who um, always, you know, tried to put his best foot forward and gave everything that I had, and that's basically how I'm looking at every day of, of this year. Um, I'm just trying to give everything I have to um, my teammates to, you know, help reach our goals. Jordan Burroughs with IU Student Television. This is for all of you guys up there. What are you looking forward to the most in the upcoming season? Well, I know for me, I'm looking forward to every moment, you know, because this is my last, uh, whatever we're going to be doing is going to be my last one. So I'm looking forward to, you know, every single thing. I'm just looking forward, uh, as my second year, um, as going through it, it's looking like uh, I've already been through it once. So now uh, I got it under my belt and more comfortable. So it should be a fun year. I'm more looking forward to just going out and giving all for my teammates and making sure I give all for them and make sure I give it all for the seniors for their last year and just make sure I give all to Indiana. All right, guys. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks.